languages do you speak? Are you a good singer? I was bored, <laughs> which is not the case. Are you popular? Who and when was your first crush? Preschool. Are you single? What was your most embarrassing childhood memory? I have a lot. Hello, I'm Ariana, if you're new. Today we are here because I decided what better way to introduce myself to the channel than to do a Q&A video. Get to know me. No one really asked for a Q&A, but I thought it would be like a good video to do since I am a new YouTuber. What are you about, Ariana? I don't know what I'm about, but we're about to find out. What? Okay, but on a serious note, let's get to the question. <laughs> First question. How old are you? Um, I'm young. I'm 16 years old. How tall are you? Last time I checked, I was like five five and a quarter. I'm pretty sure I grew. I don't know. But last time I checked, I was five five and a quarter. Favorite scent? I'd say vanilla. I like cocoa better. Those nice smells. They smell amazing. What languages? What languages do you speak? English. English. I am. Haitian well born in America but I'm ha yeah you know how Haitian families be like when someone in your family don't speak Creole they be gaying on you every single day every time I go to another family member or friend of my mom they, they'll ask me something in Creole I'll be like I don't understand and they're like oh your parents didn't teach you Creole I'd be like well at first they tried, but I'm pretty sure somewhere throughout the way, they gave up on me. Growing up, we mainly talked in English. My sister is the one who's like fluent. Is she fluent? Yeah, she can like speak and understand Creole. My brother, I don't think he really speaks it, but he like understands it or like a good portion of it. Me, I'm a few words. It's funny because in my school, they don't have Creole, but they have French right they have french right i'm pretty sure they have french right i'll check it later but which is pretty similar to creole they have like similar stuff but instead <laughs> you want to know what i'm taking right now <laughs> japanese <laughs> when they found out that i was taking japanese i swear they wanted to disown me on the spot second year in the class going strong my teacher's actually really nice. I love her. But yeah, I do know me a little bit of Japanese. Like, mm, a little bit. Ogenki desu ka? You can say I'm fluent. Are you a good singer? Well, I like to think I'm a good singer. Fun fact about me, I'm actually in choir. I was in choir, I think, at one point in elementary school. And then throughout middle school, I was in choir. Seventh grade and eighth grade, I also was in musical theater but now i'm in high school now and i've just done choir but yes i do consider myself a pretty decent singer you know i'll even sing you a piece from the choir um there's a song we're learning for the concert it's called jerusalem ready ready <clears throat> jerusalem <laughs> i swear i don't actually sing like this maybe one day you guys will hear me sing just not today not today. Why did you start YouTube? Okay, funny thing actually. I was bored. <laughs> so basically, I've always really liked the idea of like, you know, being a whole YouTuber, so getting to record and do stuff, all that aesthetic, getting into the whole filming stuff, you know? But I never really acted on it. And I've tried starting easy channels before. They were. I. I don't think they're still up. If they are, that's wow. I also always like the idea of just like being on social media platforms and having an audience that enjoys the content I put out. I would always stop myself from actually trying to like achieve, actually get to that point. One boring day on Thanksgiving break, I was watching a vlog video on YouTube and I was like, <sighs> I wonder what it's like to be like one of those like youtubers that do vlogs or like make those aesthetic little editing videos like the whole process and i was like let's try and so i started to see what's the editing process like how long is this gonna take how hard is this gonna be watch me give up in the middle of it and while i was doing it i was like wow 
This is actually low-key fun. A bit time-consuming, but I don't mind. This is actually... This, this isn't so bad as I thought it was. Like, I was enjoying myself when recording, and I was having fun editing, because I was, like, trying different things, different filters, different zoom-ins. You know? And so, well, after I didn't edit the full video, I added a good portion of, of it, and I sent it to my cousins. And I was like, yo, you guys, look at me trying to be an influencer on my influencer pings. I didn't really expect much of a positive response. I thought we were just gonna like clown me for even trying, but they were like, yo, this is actually pretty good. It actually looks pretty good. And so that video is still sitting in like somewhere on my phone. The next morning, I was like, let's try this again. Instead, we're gonna film my morning routine. We're gonna edit it and we're gonna post it. And so I just posted it on YouTube and that's how that started. I I showed my cousins, I, sh I told my friends, yo, go look at my YouTube channel. Next question, editing software and what camera do I use to film? Like I said before, I don't use any fancy cameras and I don't use any fancy apps to edit. I don't, I don't pay any for anything. I use my iPhone to film. And if you wanna know what phone I have, it's the iPhone 13 Pro. And what I use for editing, I literally just use CapCut. After I'm done editing, I put the clips in the app and I just start going. It's not hard, just a little bit time consuming, but it's not hard. I don't find it hard. Thumbnails, for my thumbnails, I use Canva. That's really it. Everything, all the different apps I use, they're free, easy, pretty, yeah, pretty easy to use. Music taste and favorite music artist. Okay, so I listen to a little bit of everything. As you can see, I obviously do listen to BTS. I do like K-pop, but I don't just like K-pop. I feel like once someone hears, oh, I like K-pop, they think that's all I listen to, which is not the case. I like a lot of different artists. Like, let me pull up my Spotify right now. Oh, wait, yeah, the Spotify rap thingy came out not too long ago. I'll just put a picture of my Spotify rap, like, right here. These are some of the artists I listen to, as you can see, and some of my top songs. And yeah, that's basically some of the artists I listen to. Goals and dreams. Okay, so my biggest dream in life is to actually be a singer, like an artist, a performing artist. I, I really, I love singing. I really do. It's my dream, my passion, my goal to be able to stand on a stage and perform songs. That's really one of my biggest dreams and i hope I, to achieve it i really do i really hope to achieve it one day i'm trying i'm practicing hopefully soon i can get some piano lessons because i also want to learn the piano to help me and i guess another goal of mine is to get more popular on this on here my tiktok my youtube i want to get popular enough that people make edits of me that's how popular I want to get. I want to get popular enough that people make edits of me. That, that if, I, if I like go on my TikTok feed and I see an edit of me, I'd be so happy. Favorite hairstyle or next hairstyle? Okay. If you're friends with me personally, you know I've tried like many different hairstyles. I've done um, obviously braids, like peekaboo braids, like right now. I've done like many different color braids, like purple, red blue and purple i've done butterfly locks and i've done passion twist and right now again peekaboo braids now we can't forget to look back braid i did for my birthday i killed that i think my favorite one so far was definitely the butterfly locks the next hairstyle i plan to do probably long locks but my cousin did it and she looked really good with it so i'm gonna do it next because i'm a copycat <laughs> are you popular does it look? I don't think I'm popular. Like if you were, if not at school, not anywhere really. I know a lot of people, I'd say I have a, a lot of friends, but I don't consider that me being popular. One of my friends told me I'm a mutual friend. I find that funny. Favorite dessert? Cheesecake. Cheesecake, cheesecake, cheesecake. I love cheesecake. It's top, top for me. But close to the second, candy apples. Those are my top two, cheesecake and candy apples. Who and when was your first crush? Preschool? Yes. I already know people are gonna be like, Preschool? Yes, pre-K. Who is this boy? I forgot his name. We'll call him JJ. But me and my other friend, we'll call her K. We'd always play with JJ at the playground when it was time for recess. 
and we'd play tag and he was fast. I could never outrun him and every time I was eight, I could never catch him. I had to go for K. I guess my four-year-old heart. I was four in pre-K, right? I don't know how old I was in pre-K. My, we're gonna assume four. My little four-year-old heart felt something. <laughs> That was basically my first crush. I never acted on it until second grade. <laughs> that didn't go well. Anyway, next. <laughs> Are you single? Man, I'm as single as a Pringle. I ain't got no one. Ain't no one got me. I'm all alone. It's just, it's just me. me. <laughs> I'm fine with that though. I'm not, it's not like I'm looking for one. One life lesson you learned. You lose people in life. It sucks, but you do. You gotta cut people off sometimes. It's gonna be hard. It's easier said than done, really. You really need to put yourself first in some situations. Not even some, sometimes all. Prioritize your health, mental, physical. Prioritize yourself. At the end of the day, no one should matter most in your life than you. Prioritize yourself. Take care of yourself. What was your most embarrassing childhood memory? I have a lot. Which one should I talk about? So, I don't think all of us had this. Some, maybe. But you know, kids are impatient. They are some of the most impatient beings on planet Earth. I was one of them. They're curious beings, and especially when it comes to things like relationships and love. And so, you know, you'll be hearing about those little seven-year-olds that be having a boyfriend in the first grade, and you're like, I haven't even had my first kiss yet. It was in my after school, my summer camp. I had a little boyfriend. <laughs> it's funny because at the end of the day, you realize that these kids don't even like each other. They just like the thought and the idea of being able to say, I'm in a relationship. You don't even like him. And that was the whole thing with me. It was like, I didn't even, I didn't even really like him like that. He asked me and I was like, sure let's do it why not it's so much more than that though like it's a whole plot line that happened throughout elementary school but basically the embarrassing part about this wait which part do i want to talk about do i want to talk about what happened at the roller skating rink or do i want to talk about what happened at that one high school or was it a college i'll talk about the high school one so basically it was halloween they would take us on field trips every now and then and so they took us to this one school campus we had our costumes on we had our own little ba candy basket or our bags and so they would separate us separate us into groups right i was in a separate group than my little boyfriend <laughs> they're gonna call him ian and so ian was like come come to my table and i was like i'll get in trouble i didn't want to get in trouble he's like just come just come just sleep right here just come, hurry i was like ain't no way you're crazy no and he was like man i was like i'm not getting in trouble for you i think at one point our groups got mixed up embarrassing part of the entire thing was when we were leaving we were on the bus and we were <laughs> we were sitting next to each other was it like three people to see because there's a lot of kids there's a lot of us i think it was three people to see there was my friend at the window seat ian me but was it like that i think it was like I, I think it was like that i don't know but anyway just know me and him were sitting next to each other i'm talking to my friend right i'm talking to her i'm just like sitting i'm sitting i'm not in my business i don't know where he just <laughs> does that little <laughs> fake young thingy where he goes like <gasps> oh. <laughs> and he puts his arm over me i freeze i was like i just i look at my friend and she's looking at me on the verge she's about to laugh she's about to burst out laughing she's like in my head, I was like, whoa, 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 We ain't never done that before. Why are we doing this now in front of all these people? You can't just do it in front of everyone. I wasn't prepared. And, you know, all his friends are start, like, doing that little ooh or whatever. You know, they start teasing us, blah, blah, blah. It was, it was embarrassing for me because, like, I one, I wasn't prepared. Two... I wasn't prepared. <laughs> There's so many embarrassing moments. Or another embarrassing moment where at the playground of that same summer camp, after school thingy, whatever, me, two boys, and my other friend, we were playing Shark Boy and Lava Girl, that whole thing. We were playing the we were playing out the entire movie. We had the entire thing 
memorized in our heads we knew every single scene so because i wanted to be a lava girl and my other friend wanted to be a lava girl we both had to be lava girl and the other two boys they were both struck boy it, it was a whole thing we we had multiple roles we had to, we were dedicated though and so when we got to the part where he literally had to throw lava girl into the little volcano because you know we're elementary school kids they don't they don't got no meat in them arms yet. so instead of picking us up they dragged us i still remember having my arm pulled and me getting dragged back so they were just dragging me and my friend and until we got to the volcano part of the playground and yeah and then the other part of this is when it got to the kissing scene where lava girl would give shark boy a kiss on the cheek right and so we were discussing how are we gonna do this right how are we gonna go through with the kissing scene because you know we ain't never done that before me my dumb self wasn't really paying attention what they were talking about we got to the kissing scene and they were gonna discuss oh let's just do this instead of actually kissing on the cheek and then there's me poor little me who not only had a crush on one of the guys but was just playing out stupid and wasn't listening to the plan straight up kissed him on the cheek no thought in my brain no nothing i just mm. when i tell you all three of them were looking at me like and i was like was i not supposed to do that and they said we we were planning on just doing a blow kiss instead i was like oh my bad <laughs> so we just did the blow kiss finished the rest of the movie and then after recess ended it was so awkward after i could not i could not hang out with him for so long after that i had no hesitation no hesitation whatsoever i just went straight for it but yeah those are like two embarrassing moments in my childhood life do what you will with this information but yeah that's really it for the q a today just a little get to know me i hope you guys enjoyed it because this is actually this is pretty nice now you guys know a little more about me and some embarrassing moments about me <laughs> and i will see you guys the next video hopefully of course you never know when i might go you see how easy it is for me to leave yeah keep that in mind